this time in the corner. Hello and welcome to the O2 Inside Line Live. Welcome to Marseille. We are at the England Rugby Hotel here in the south of France. I'm Alex Corbacero and over the next 30 minutes we'll be speaking with two players from the England Rugby squad to get the inside scoop as they have just wrapped up the group stages in Lille on Saturday. And as always, we'll be putting their skills to the test and we want you at home to get involved too. We also want you to get your questions in so we can put them to the lads. Please put your questions in the comments or use the hashtag WearTheRose. Now it's time to introduce our players. Our first player is England and Harlequins superstar, the very handsome man himself, Marcus Smith. Cool. Let's go. Welcome, Marcus, mate. Are you, mate? Right? Yeah, good to see you, mate. Good to see you, been a while. And uh, joining Marcus as well is Northampton Saints star and England rugby player, the slightly less handsome oh, Alex oh, Mitchell. Oh, 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 <laughs> Mitchell, oh, there go. <laughs> Cheers, boy. I'm, so uh, I'm feeling that. That's brutal, <laughs> mate. You can't have that. Come on, mate. The old days. <laughs> the old days. Uh, all right. Days. Lads, you know, obviously it was a big uh, day in Lille on the weekend, on Saturday. How, how are you all doing here now in Marseille? Yeah, well, it's good to finally be here in Marseille. Obviously, um, Lille was a big day for us because obviously we, knew, we know how hard uh, a test Samoa is going to bring. Um, it wasn't probably the, the best performance that we wanted as a group to finish the group stages, but uh, to be here now in Marseille, uh, to fly down this morning, I think I definitely feel really good and really excited about the week to come. Yeah, I think boys are quite relaxed, aren't they? I think we've just been chilling today. Obviously flew down, a few meetings this morning, but um, yeah, I think the boys are in a good place and yeah, like I said, just chilling out. Awesome. Well, we want to kick the, the show off with a bit of a game here, okay? So let's play fact or fiction. We're going to give you each two facts and one fake fact about each other and it's up to you to spot which one is the fake one, uh -huh. all right? Oh. So That's first off, Marcus, fake. you're going to have to hear these facts about Alex, all right? And then you're going to have to pick out which one of these is not fake. So which one of these is fake? Apologies. So fact number one. In 2022, Alex was named Northampton Supporters and Players Player of the Year. Fact number two, Alex's nickname at school was Phil after the Mitchell brothers on the East Enders. <laughs> <laughs> and then three, Alex played against the Curry brothers in the school's cup growing up. So I know that I think that he did play against the Curry brothers. I think they both went to school. Uh, posh schools up north somewhere. Um, That's bang out. <laughs> <laughs> not posh school at all. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not the, every day you're a southerner calling a northerner posh. The, so I take it. And I think Mitch had a really good year, 2022. So I'm going to go with the middle one. I think that's the. F that's that's not fact. So, it's fiction. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's all right. Fact. You are correct, uh, Marcus. Now it's your. <laughs> Too easy, mate. It's your turn, Alex. Which one of these facts is fiction about Marcus? All right. Fact number one: Marcus is the second youngest player to score 500 Premiership points, aged just 21 years and 207 days. Okay. Fact number two, <laughs> Marcus's dad played international rugby at Fly Half for Singapore. 
And then fact number three, Marcus could have been a model and was offered a contract at the age of 15 for a well-known clothing brand, but turned it down to focus on his rugby. <laughs> See, I don't think that last one can be true. I just, I just... Are you sure though? Are you sure? No, I think it's, what's the second one? They played international rugby for Singapore. Yeah, his dad played international oh, rugby for Singapore. Oh, your dad? Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Um, I think it's the... <sighs> I think you're a good-looking lad, mate. But Cheers, I, think mate, it's mate. The, I think it's the modelling one that's fiction. Is that right? No. <laughs> it's right. You're correct. Yeah, you're, you're correct. Right. You nailed it. Yeah, like For bonus that, points, though, if either of you could tell me, well, actually, Alex, if you could tell me who Marcus is the second youngest player to, who the youngest player is to reach 500 points, get you an extra bonus point. Um, in company. Who is he in camp? I don't know. It's got to be a kicker, so I'm going to say Owen Fowle. It's Johnny Wilkinson. <laughs> uh, tough one, tough one. All right, moving on, moving on. We'll get, we'll get better as it goes on. All right, you're going to have to redeem yourself later. But, uh, lads, a few questions for you while we're here. You've got the group stages done and dusted now. You're back in Marseille. You've been here before. There's going to be fans traveling who want to know, you know what's going on on here, as well as you know, myself looking for things to do. Can you just give us some suggestions of things that are good out here in Marseille that you've enjoyed? <laughs> uh, we've not actually done too much, have we? Just because we've been kind of stuck in the hotel. But um, I think a few boys went to Nice and Saint Antigua. Is it just down the road? <laughs> no, Antigua. <laughs> Antigua. 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 Antigua's a long way, mate. Northern Portugal, really. Yeah, just fly out there for you. Really, really smart, mate. Um, yeah. 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 Ye
and I think it was Henry Arundel. Yeah. Uh, it was slightly late actually, so I think he got in a bit of trouble for that. But they arrived in Latuke, our base camp, um, and all the boys seem to be uh, wearing them now. So uh, everyone's pretty excited about those. They are so comfy. Might have to get an England, an England, some sort of you know. We're not widget on here and stuff, but apparently they didn't come through. They got sports mode. They got everything. It's the class. You've ordered the budget, isn't it? <laughs> oh, good. Literally. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Some more questions for you. And uh, you know, we talked a little bit about the Ryder Cup, but we've seen, you know, from the outside, you guys have been doing some comps and stuff in between you. We saw some paddle tennis, some ping pong challenges. You know, any other comps that have gone on, and also who's been dominating in those as well? Uh, to be fair to Mitch, he's pretty good at um, paddle. I think we had one game. I've only beaten him once, and I think I've played him four or five times. So fair play to him. He was explained. He taught me the rules. He taught me the game. I was very excited. First game I managed to beat him, so probably beginner's luck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he schooled me ever since. So um, it's one of them things. Fair play to him. He's a, he's a good player. Yeah. Who else is good? Oh, I'm, I'm a, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, David Ribbons is good. Yeah. For a big lad, he can move. Serious though, isn't he? Yeah, he takes it way too seriously. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Um, and who else is good? Danny Kerr, Jamie George, the yeah. skillful boys are good at it, really. Yeah. Lovely. Any table tennis as well? Courtney showing it about still? Courtney's or not? good at that. I've been dominated um, by him a few times. Uh, I figure yeah. he's only really good now. Yeah. How yeah. much are you scared of him, I think? Just <laughs> yeah. the, the reach, mate. Yeah. 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 He's going to be running yeah. around the table as my knees gave out. <laughs> um, he's got he's got I don't really play too much. Yeah. Chairs, I think, is quite good. Chairs is good. A fair bit of pool as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boys love that. Very good. It's good to have sort of little competitive getaways and stuff as well. And one talking of getaways, we saw after the third game, you guys actually got some time off. Some of the guys with families made it to Disneyland Paris. What did you guys do with your time off? Uh, so I went to Paris with my girlfriend, um, just chilled around there, went to some nice restaurants, crossed the Arc de Triomphe, which was quite nice. Oh, lovely. I was quite nervous actually, a seven lane roundabout, which was um, quite nerve wracking. But I actually, I managed ran, to get across I actually it. ran across that. Yeah, I walked across it, mate. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was real you relaxed. Were, you were <laughs> yeah, I think I was sprinting yeah, across it. Right? Steam yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After yeah. playing Rassing or something. Yeah. Oh, fair, fair enough, lads. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. I went to Paris as well. Yeah, it was lovely. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was nice. A bit tired in those cities, like you want to see everything and. After a couple of days, I was actually quite shattered, but it was uh, and nice, nice. Nice to get a little refresh as well after just being in camp for so long as well. Yeah, 100%. I think obviously Le 2K was brilliant because we had loads of activities around. Um, we, were, we were right by the beach. We could do ping pong, we could do paddle, we could play golf. Um, but it was nice to have a proper break, uh, refresh the mind, refresh the body and see a bit of France. Awesome lads, awesome. And it's not just here on the O2 Inside Line Live that you can get all of your England rugby fix. We also have the England Rugby Podcast. This week's episode features Tom Curry. I grew up my identical twin, Ben. I think it was tough at the start, especially when, kind of when we were 18. You'd be training and it would almost be like you'd be worrying for two people. It's a tough one in terms of sharing success because ultimately you want him to do well and I, I imagine he'd say the same. There comes a point where it's kind of like you are you're on your separate path sort of thing and this is where it gets difficult as far as defining the line between us, like we and me. You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line, I'm Tom Curry. You're going to do a few dummies as well. That right? podcast <laughs> with Tom Curry is out tomorrow morning. A reminder, you can get it everywhere you get your podcast. Search England Rugby Podcast. Make sure you subscribe for the latest episodes. Perfect for your commute to work tomorrow morning. This is the O2 Inside Line Live. We are live coming to you from Marseille at the England Rugby Team Hotel. It's now time to play some back to front. It's a test of skill. Last week we had Henry Arundel on. He only managed five. Lads, wow. I managed fifteen as well, just to set you know set it up big there. <laughs> if you want to check out all the carnage that went on in last week's episode, you can check that out on the past live streams. Uh, and now it's time to play some back to front. Um, lots of you have been giving it a go at home. Here's a little video of it, and we keep going there as these lads. Here we go, we got Ollie from Seven Oaks and we got Ben Ede giving it a go. What do you reckon, lads? Are you go taking on, any lads. tips? Yeah, oh. Decent technique. 
yeah. stepping forward. Yeah. We don't have as much space as some of these lads have, so you might be caring. If it goes over the back fence, we're not insured for it, so yeah. be real, real careful there, all right? Yeah, I will be. And it's fine if you drop it. Yeah, I think you just got 20 seconds. Here we go. Here is the leaderboard. And as it sits, the top spot is with Rachel Burford there. She has 19. Second place, you've got Chris Robshaw, myself, on, sitting there at 15 with Joe Marchant. I'll take it. Ahead of Dylan Hartley was all I was aiming for <laughs> as well. And as you work your way down at the bottom, keeping that spot warm, Ben, ben Earl and Fred <laughs> Stewart with two lads. So obviously, you know, you've got a high bar here with two as being the bottom. But uh, we'll go Marcus first. Oh. You know, it's 20 seconds. The ball starts <laughs> behind your back. It can go over. It goes over the head. How many can you do? All right, right you've got the timer here in three, two, one, go. Come on, Marcus. Come on, two, Come on Marcus. Three, four, five, six. Marcus, <laughs> don't lose it, Marcus. Seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, oh. Oh. eleven, twelve. 13. Oh, solid, oh, solid, right. solid, lads. Give him a round of applause. Perfect. Fair enough. Well done. Well done. Can't all be greatness, you know. It, <laughs> it is what it is. But Mitch, now your turn to get ready. All right. Starts behind the back, over the head. 20 seconds. Three, no, two, start, one, go. Over the head. Oh, no. <laughs> over the head. Two. Two. Over Three. the head, please, mate. <laughs> Six. Yes, Mitchy boy. Come on, mate. You got this. Come on, Mitchy. <laughs> he's got a good, he's got a big back, so it's quite easy for him. Look at him. Under. <laughs> Can't see <Well>, that, mate. <laughs> let's go. Thirteen, mate. Thirteen, 13. solid. Sorry? Double thirteen. <laughs> what? Seems like what a. Did I get? You got thirteen as well. Did I? Yep. Yeah. Oh, close. Why are you checking over there, guys? You I was just checking. <laughs> I was just checking. I couldn't <laughs> have a bit of All those uh, nice work, lads. Yeah, nice work, lads. Pretty good effort there. But, um, you know, if you at home would like to get involved in the back to front challenge, make sure you film yourself, post it on your socials using the hashtag back to front. We'll hopefully get a good watch of them and get them into the show. This Rose is our exclusive behind the scenes content series, getting you as close as possible to the England rugby team. The latest episode is out. It features Ellis Genge and the boys as they got involved in a charity 10K run. I have my reservations about the 2K. It is the colder part of France, not much going on, quiet, golf in town near the seaside. But since we've been here, you know, I've actually fell in love with it, if I'm being honest. Like, I just, I can't believe we're going to have to leave. We've had our little gaff and had our own little twin rooms with your roomie the whole time, proper made it homely, I had photos up of the family because we didn't have to move all our stuff out for the for the whole time and not something I've experienced before. <laughs> So we're here in the centre of the 2K, at uh, the Market Square, uh, Sunday morning, and the, the 2K, 10K charity race has just started. All the players will be beside the start line. Owen spoke a few words before the race started. And then a number of the, the coaches and management team set off in the race as well. Well, the 2K has been incredible um, host to us so far. We've got another week here and to be able to help in some small way, I think the players jump to the opportunity to come and, uh, come and help start this race. I, I, do, I do feel like a little part of me is going to be left behind in the 2K, or at least I'll take some with me in the form of a sister. Looks enthusiastic. And you can catch this rose on England Rugby's YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe. You can catch up with the series and get the latest episodes. And speaking of latest episodes, the newest one just dropped about an hour ago. So when you finish watching this incredible live, make sure you go and check that out. But guys, we're going to finish up now with a few fan questions from people on the audience who've been watching. First question I have for you it comes from Instagram from POMU5KU. Interesting name, guys. Who is your best? This might be someone in the back here. Who, who is your best roomie? Uh, so I'm currently rooming with Ollie Lawrence. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed that over the last 10, 11 weeks. He's 
extremely neat, which I quite like about him. Um, sometimes wakes up a bit grumpy, but I don't mind that because I'm normally in and out of the room. Mm -hmm. So I give him his I give him his peace and quiet, which is quite nice. And I think of you. we respect each other's space, which is uh, why I've enjoyed it so much. I've had Henry Arundel. He's um, he's been alright. He's quite tidy. He keeps to himself. He does a weird snorting at night. <laughs> you know, I, I, like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he, he just does that and I just put my AirPods in like, all right, night, mate. <laughs> well, no, he's actually very good. And, uh, you know, I'm going to follow up on this, but who are your worst roommates as well? I think that's, everyone always has them. I think the funniest experience I've had in a room was with Marla. <laughs> <laughs> Shock. <laughs> down in Brighton. And, and I remember it to this day. That it was like, I was trying to sleep because it, it was a few years ago and he st he slept with his side lamp on <laughs> and I was too young to ask him to turn it off and he was watching the uh, Peaky Blinders on his chest and he fell asleep with his iPad on and I kept just kind of opening my eyes and it kept falling down on him I, but I didn't want to say anything because obviously I was um, just just young trying to sleep yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've had Lords Lewis Ludlam who is a terrible snorer, but he's actually got a sleeping machine now, hasn't he? He's got like a sleep mask. Is that like apnea stuff? Yeah, yeah, he's got like an oxygen mask here, or like a whole box thing. Um, well, so apparently that's true. I've heard the sleeps. tape. Have you seen the tape? I think that's what he's got. It's like just you tape your mouth shut, so you have to breathe through your nose. Oh no, it's not My that. bro snores, that's and good, he apparently. cured that's his. Really good. Yeah, apparently, you know, tell Luds, but he cured his snoring by. Well, you can tape. I just get a bit nervous doing. Well, Luds got a machine. He's got like a whole machine next to his bed. Yeah, stop that's him mad. <laughs> Good. All right, our next Same. question from fans. This one is also via Instagram. It's from Robber Dubba Dubba Day. Robber Dubba Dubba Day. <laughs> Interesting Dubba name. Dubba I'm assuming his name Rob. Good player. But uh, what's been your favourite French food or drink? My favourite French drink's been Orangina. I think, I think that's French, isn't it? I'm assuming it's French. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've enjoyed Orangina. Um, I'm a Favourite bit of French food has been croque monsieur, Ooh. avec frites. Ooh, look at him, a local. We've been smashing crepes, haven't we? Well, <laughs> <laughs> so we have had one, one every two, one two, every two couple of weeks. Treat, <laughs> treat, <laughs> treat before a game. Yeah, a few crepes here and there. All right, good. And then our last question is from Nick Mason. This is on YouTube. If you weren't professional rugby players, what profession would you be in now? Go on, Mitch. <laughs> Paddle. I don't know. Um, what would I be? Well, uh, I don't know. It'd be something boring like something you can finance in London. How boring is that? Oh. That's such a boring answer. Well, thank God you're good at code then. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't stop yeah. talking about code as well. <laughs> God, what would you be? Uh, I've got no clue, to be honest. Um, Come on, mate. Model. Model. No, I've always wanted to be in a band. Jonas Brothers with my brothers. Ooh. You're Got quite a good singer. <laughs> no, I'm Give us a sing. sing. I'm yeah, off the sing. sing. Yeah. He's a great I'm singer. Here's I can't sing. sing. <laughs> I'll sing after you rap. No, yeah. I rapped sure. on the last one, mate. <laughs> they got their fix of that for a while. <laughs> These boys got What's me rapping at under 20s, yeah, mate. That was I remember good that was good times, mate. Yeah. Somehow I got convinced as a coach to get up in front of the players and rap <laughs> in the 20s, but it was good. But uh, lads, it's been an absolute uh, pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Um, for everyone here watching, we've really appreciated it. A reminder to keep checking these out as England Rugby are continuing their campaign. Thanks to everyone here, and we'll see you again soon. Yes, boys, awesome. Yeah. What does it mean to you? Hard to define, isn't it? Cup of tea, pint of ale, chai latte, protein shake. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Like this team, made up of absolute units, speedsters, maestros, even the odd little fella. Players from everywhere that play from anywhere. Mohawks, optional. Five, non-negotiable. It's all good. Differences are what makes us us. It's when we come together, the magic happens. Listen, you know that rose? Yeah, that one. Whisper it. It's not originally from here. But it's what it means to us that's important. And it represents this beautiful, weird bundle of culture we call home. And that, that's what we play for.